So on February 28th, something is going to happen in our sky. On a scale, ranking scale of 1 to 50, in the last 50 years, so this is almost close to rank number two. So in terms of the rarity of the, the geometry, how close all these planets are going to be there, it is fairly rare in the last 50 years. It is number two. Uh, in terms of the time that we have an opportunity to look at it, it is very tiny. So it's a very small window for us to look at it. So we need to really have a way to look at those planets there, uh, all of them same time. Actually, five of them are going to be in one group, and one planet is out there. I'm going to show you all that. So why is this a big deal? So planets, they don't move together. They are orbiting around sun. They have their own speed. They have their own orbit. They have their own rhythm. So getting several of them in a cluster, when they are all orbiting at their own pace, is like a rare event from a statistical standpoint. That's why it is ranked as number two in the last 50 years. So which planets are we talking about? The alignment of the planets are mainly Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter is out there, so I would consider, even though it's six planet alignment, I would put in Mercury, Venus, Mars and Saturn in one big lump. Saturn is staying out there. Mercury and Venus and Mars are really close and tight towards star. So if you look at it, they all are grouped in almost like few degrees, which is kind of neat thing to watch. So all the planet energy, including the sun, is in one place. So we need to have a window where the sun is setting a little bit and we have a visibility of these planets and we need to take a look at it. Is it possible using binoculars? If you are not looking at sun, yes. It's going to be a pretty good deal. There is one alignment prior to this in 1982, which is higher ranking than this one, but I think this is decent enough to watch. You at least can go out into the backyard, turn off the TV, turn off the computer, turn off the cell phone, take a look at the west side sky and look at like what's happening, right? Can I see the Saturn? You may be able to see maybe Mars. I don't know if, if you can, if the sun is super bright there, that is really, really difficult. But chances are you might see Venus there. You might see Mercury, right? So even if that view itself is a pretty good view to look at it. So, all right, let's take a look at Saturn, where it is. And let's go back in time a little bit. So Saturn is coming up. I'm actually doing a reverse of the time for a second. So this is, sun is already set. So I'm coming back in time. So you would see Saturn and Neptune close by. The sun is already set. I'm zooming out for you. If I zoom in, you will see Saturn and Neptune. But the cool part happens right at the time of sunset. So let me go back a little bit in time. 
and see what happens when the sun starts coming up. Let me zoom out again. You see that? Venus is coming and Mercury was briefly there for a second and it disappeared. The reason for that was because right there. You see that? Mercury was right there. So because of sun's glare, it wasn't showing up as a name anymore. It's like very small window. That's pretty much what we have. I'm trying to slow down so that we may have a way of recovering that. I'm going to further go back in time. And I wanted to let sun come in a little. Let me zoom out. So Venus also goes into the glare. I'm trying to stop where sun is coming up. And if you go closer to the sun, as close as possible, I wanted to see where is Mars. Mars is somewhere very close to sun. Oh, it's already set. I wanted it to come out a little bit. So seeing Mars on the day probably is difficult. Because it's like 5.20. See right there. So I would call it five planetary alignment. I wouldn't call it six because this is almost like 420, 451 kind of window. So seeing Mars, I mean, unless you have some telescope, super duper telescope, you can't see Mars. It's like washed out with sun. We can, I can show you with my telescopes, but like, looking at the binos or binos is very dangerous now because your sun is up there don't do it don't use binoculars okay so no i uh, don't use binoculars um if you come to my channel i can show you this hopefully without telescopes getting hurt of this mars which is really difficult. Sun is right there. So I, yeah, I would not venture this out. I can show you uh, Venus after sun sets. So once sun goes down a little bit, let's go down a little bit. Right, right there, you see that? This is the window I wanted to capture. Sorry for moving in and out. You can see Venus here. I know it, there is a tree just for the view sake in the software, but you should see Venus. Chances are if you are standing there and looking at like sunset, you would see Venus. You would definitely see Saturn. Of course, Jupiter is out there, like quite, oh yeah, Uranus, I can show you with my telescopes. I know Uranus also is there. Where is it? Let me show you. Yeah, Uranus is also here and Jupiter is out there in the other side, yeah. So we, it's almost here, and moon is here. So rest is all going on in the west side. You see that? This is on the west side. Jupiter is all the way out here. And let me see if uh, I can show you the Uranus again. It's right there. So Jupiter, Uranus, 
and saturn venus oh wow and right below that is mars well technically if you are seeing this right from top to the bottom jupiter is here uranus is here saturn venus mercury mars that's fantastic i didn't realize i know you can you can see everything with it, with our own eyes right so technically you can see jupiter and you can see saturn and you can see venus mercury is difficult i think this is a great view of planetary alignment well it's visual alignment it is not really lining up in the sky as they are lining up in the sky from a visual standpoint they are not physically uh, you know in the orbit of the sun stack on next to each other very interesting i will show you this stuff live as much as possible i think i can show you some planets for sure on the day maybe jupiter and saturn guaranteed i think we can get there venus and mercury very difficult because they are so close to the sun It's because we can't put the telescope there unless the sun sets and i don't know how much window we will have when the sun sets and the clarity of the horizon so right now the time is 6:53 on the 28th february hopefully it is clear skies and venus is like right there very difficult so we might see uranus we might see saturn we might see jupiter obviously we will see moon on that day right yeah that would that we can see so these are all in one single line one thing we need to be very clear is you have to have a very decent view of horizon so go to a place like maybe a school or whatever where everything is flat out there there is no trees there is no obstruction for you to look at the sunset right whatever the place that you can find and while the sun is setting you will you may have an opportunity to look at this uh, planetary alignment like in one place i want to put this video out there so that you can plan very well for the upcoming alignment and set some expectations of what's coming for these alignment uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do uh, click on the like button and notifications button and if you wanted to hype the video please do thank you